This is Dr. Seelan Parekh, the fantasy doctor. What a crazy Super Bowl yesterday that we witnessed. The Seattle cornerbacks really played a heck of a game and overcame what we thought to be most of their injuries. But after the loss yesterday, what we found out is that Richard Sherman's elbow may be more seriously injured than we previously thought. Now, if you are a baseball fan, you know about Tommy John surgery. A lot of pitchers undergo this. But it appears that Richard Sherman may require the surgery. So let's talk to Woody and see what's really going on. All right, here, here's Woody, a little uh, hungover from last night. But if we look at Woody's elbow, what we can see is that there are three bones that make up the elbow joint. This one's called the radius, the ulna, and the humerus. The ulnar collateral ligament goes from the inside of the humerus to the inside of the ulna and helps to stabilize the elbow for patients or for athletes who are throwing. A tear of this ligament is a serious injury and leads to instability of the entire elbow joint. A Tommy John surgery is where that ligament that goes from here to here is reconstructed. Now in a non-throwing athlete, it is usually very unlikely to require or even need a Tommy John surgery unless there is some associated injury like a break or a tear or something else going on. So without personal visualization, personal insight into the MRI and the imaging for Richard Sherman, it's hard to know what's really going on. What is clear is that he does have a serious injury. Um, again, for a non-throwing athlete, typically these things can be treated without surgery. We'll see how the next few weeks go for Richard Sherman. If he does undergo surgery, look for a long recovery back six to eight months before he's back on the field. If he's treated without surgery, well, he will be back right on time for preseason workouts. This is Dr. Seelan Parekh, the Fantasy Doctor.